i would like to share and i would also like someone else to share the experiences of the camp we think of the camp oh we saw so many patients oh operations for so many patients were done oh we helped the poor but we usually forget what happened to us energy was high no doubt feeling was good no doubt but there are so many things which give us a high energy there are so many things which give us happiness but what transformation takes place within us what are the challenges that we are needed to face is everything hunky dory oh everything nice and smooth and beautiful no 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 just like life is not a bed of roses same way spiritual progress is not a bed of roses we need to work hard of course we also need to work smart not just hard but what is also important is that when we participate in an activity like this then the hardships which go in here they are projected out and it becomes much easier relatively easier i must say to manage them face them and it is from this that the happiness stems usually i will not be able to get rid of some of my problems but when i come into such an intense high energy zone there is a different energy which flows and that energy provides us breakthroughs if we are open to it are we that is the most important thing and i think that is what is very essential and this is something which we need to remember and observe much after long after the camp is over or any other spiritual activity is over because such activities trigger a change within us once the camp is over i am just using the example of the camp because we had a camp just now once the camp is over we feel so nice and the energy is with us for maybe few days or a week and then after that jaise the kutte ki dum tedi ki tedi but have we used that energy to make at least one change in our life one small breakthrough it doesn't have to be a big one just a small breakthrough but 100 such small breakthroughs make a giant breakthrough that is what is important and that is what is the spiritual aspect of such camps be it a medical camp be it an educational activity be it a vocational activity be it the yajna they are means for us for yoga practitioners for spiritual aspirants to work towards self improvement that is what is very essential and of course there is great joy when we push ourselves to our limit and help others because if there is anything which the mind likes it is helping others and today i will like to invite shilpa because she had come to the medical camp with an entire team from pune so i will like to invite her to share her experiences of the camp uh, thank you swami ji uh, i think thank you for the opportunity of first of all being uh, at the camp and yeah as you were saying i was just thinking like what did i learn uh, you know as i said what was my biggest uh, breakthrough learning in this camp and i think this camp was um, the the crowd was huge uh, as compared to what we have seen 
um, in the previous camps. And um, the my response, one of my responsibilities was queue management outside Swamiji's uh, you know, clinic where he was checking and I was supposed to manage the people there so that, you know, one, they don't make too much noise and then they are, you know, giving uh, turns to everybody according to, you know, who came first. And it was hard. <laughs> I was, I was losing my uh, cool a lot of times and um, how do you tell people to stay quiet and to come in line and yet not get angry at them? And because, you know, after two minutes of being quiet, they would, they've been waiting, they were tired. Uh, you know, so, but then uh, I learned it how Swamiji was doing it and I was... And I was not helping by disappearing suddenly uh, to go and uh, see the cataract patients off or to go into the yagya or to attend to something else. So the patients would be keeping and waiting and waiting and waiting, uh, making it even worse, right? <laughs> no, but then I, then I realized, Swamiji, when you... So there, there, there are two aspects and I have, uh, we've always been taught the uh, aspect of, you know, authority and aspect of uh, coming from a power of, uh, you know, from a position of power and saying, okay, I have told you and do it like that, you know, this, that's one way of doing it. And that's what we've been taught. But what I saw Swamiji doing is coming at it from a power, a position of love and a position of, um, you know, empowering them. And I, and when I started doing the same, like talking to them, like they really mattered um, and that we understood that it's been long, but, you know, let's be all here together and, you know, help Swamiji do, do it and get it over with it. I think they all kind of connected with me. And by the end of it, they were all smiling at me and kind of, I could feel their love for me, which I had never expected. They were all kind, we were all in this together. They were loving me and I was loving them back. And we kind of had bonded by the end of it. So, uh, and I realized that when we uh, approach it from a position of love versus a position of authority, the whole game changes and it becomes um, so much more cohesive and so much more easier for everybody and so much more transforming. I think they also felt loved um, and not just, you know, uh, taken care of. It's just that that whole game change. And I think I, I realized I could do it. I could not um, always uh, push people around. I could take them along together, you know, uh, from love. I think that was my biggest takeaway because it was, um, I have never done that before. Never been able to do it before, rather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's a very powerful, that's a very powerful sentiment. And yes, it makes so much of difference. It's so, it makes so much of difference. And the thing is that we have the grace of Devi. She was showering. And I don't know. I mean, there are few people here uh, who were present uh, at that time also. Uh, we have Kirti, we have Sanjay ji, we have Gyanshruti ji. Uh, yeah, they were all present in the camp. And I don't know if you noticed or not. But on the second day, the minute the sankalpa was taken and the puja at the Yajna Vedi started, there was a shift in energy. Initially, people were like full of energy. But after that, the energy, you know, it transformed, it sort of settled in. And you could see the difference. You could see the difference in people. And at least I could I could very remark very very clearly see that uh, she was there, and she was touching every person's heart, every person. And uh, one more thing which I have realized is that in such camps, my experience has been that it does not matter if you are the doctor, if you are the nurse, what role you are playing absolutely is immaterial. The thing is that we are medium for her energy to reach out to each one of them. And like what Shilpa mentioned, when you reach out, you receive so much more. Can you imagine there were people who had come at around 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock and they had to wait till 4 o'clock, 5 hours they were waiting. 
but everybody was calm everybody was smiling everybody was happy huh? there were a few exceptions here and there that's a different story but 99 percent were that way do you think it's a human act possibility no it is not there's a divine energy and in such camps divinity god puts us into such situations that we might never have expected and we are required to improvise and improvise like this and yet have everything correct that is another way what we learn because otherwise in normal times we might not but when suddenly you are faced with that situation you suddenly from nowhere come up with a solution and then oh that is also possible like the pharmacist suddenly had to go because he got a call from his home. So, on the spur of the moment, we developed new pharmacists, right? And they were able to explain, they were able, and everything went smoothly. Did it, did it really create any ripple? No difference at all. Does not mean that you don't do it correctly, but we have to be open and flexible to change. You know, these are personality transforming experiences. And that is what is very important. Seeing patients, there are hundreds and thousands of camps which take place. Many much more than what we can do. Thousands of people will be helped. But I am not speaking about that. These camps are not that. These camps are spiritually transforming powerhouses. If only we care to tap into it. And that is what is the yogic retreat aspect of the medical camp. You see, it is a yogic medical camp retreat. These are the beauty. Because after all, what is spiritual life? Spiritual life is self-progress, self-enhancement, Observing where I am wrong, where I fall short and make a change in that and work towards connecting to the higher energy. Everything what we are trying to do sitting in meditation is happening over there spontaneously without effort. That is the beauty of such events. They are yoga in action knowing our limitations, it just transforms us in spite, despite our weakness, our limitations. They have the ability to convert our limitations into our strength. All we have to do is open our heart out to the infinite possibilities which come our way. And I think that is the most important thing of such spiritual activities. Yes, Swami, I think the person who benefited the most out of the camp was me myself. <laughs> so, didn't do it for others, but I do it for myself. It just it's so helpful for you know us as individuals. That 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 has to be the that has to be the bhav. That has to be the bhav. Uh, how many uh, cataract operations uh, we had we had sent uh, seven patients uh, and then one had to come back because his paperwork was not in order but then there were six patients who were there no? do we have any update on that shilpa so four have been operated uh, swamiji and two had some um, um, you know fitness issues right now so after they have been put into medication we'll send them again second but we will be doing wonderful wonderful Shali ji so with this, let us conclude for today and we will join again tomorrow. Ariyom Tatsat, Amonarayan, Jai Ho.